Welcome to DUT. 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 Sigusegele, we've got you. 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 Together achieving greatness. 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 Welcome to the Durban University of Technology's first ever virtual institution-wide integrated first-year student orientation. The orientation program is part of the six Sigusege, we've got you. We've got you, holistic student support initiatives, a collaborative effort of many departments within the DUT ecosystem aimed at holistically enhancing your campus life experience and creating an enabling living and learning environment for students to pursue their academic and co-curricular activities. DUT is itself a developing university. Our strength is enhanced by its diversity of cultures and traditions among its staff and students and different cultures of the different universities that were combined to form DUT. DUT, an institution with a proud and rich heritage of academic, entrepreneurship and leadership excellence. DUT offers a broad spectrum of accredited academic qualifications clustered in the six faculties which are Health Sciences, Management Sciences, Accounting and Informatics, Applied Sciences, Engineering and Built Environment, Arts and Design. Before we start, let's take a short lift to our beautiful campuses. DUT is geographically divided into seven campuses in the Durban and Midden centers, namely Steve Biko Campus. All courses with the faculties of Engineering and Built Environment and the Faculty of Applied Sciences are based on this campus. And many other departments within the student services sector, inclusive of financial aid. Student Counseling and Health, Student Governance and Development, HIV and AIDS, Isolempilo Clinic, Academic Support Offices such as the Alan Pittenderk Library, Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching and the Writing Center. Ritson Campus has the Chiropractic, Housing the Faculties of Health Sciences and the Faculty of Accounting and Informatics, Ritson Campus has the Chiropractic, Homeopathic and Somatology Clinics. The hotel school is also based on this campus. ML Sultan Campus. Courses within the Faculty of Management Sciences are in this campus. Other offices such as the Entrepreneurial Desk and Center, BM Patel Library and the e-learning and multimedia offices of CELT. City Campus, the home for the artistic and creative minds, the Faculty of Arts and Design is based on this campus. Brickfield Campus, students doing fashion, graphic design and other courses within the Faculty of Arts and Design are on this campus.
The Midland Centre is geographically located at the Pietermaritzburg region with two campuses, namely Indumiso Campus and Riverside Campus. Indumiso Campus, located in the heart of Imbali Township. The campus has three academic departments, Civil Engineering, Nursing Science and School of Education and all the academic support and student services departments such as Children's Housing and Res Life, Midlands Entrepreneurship Centre and Student Desk. Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, CELT. Clinic, Library and Sport Administration to name a few. The Riverside campus is located at Scottsville. There are eight academic departments at this campus, namely Applied Management Sciences, Public Relations and Communication Management, Business Administration, Human Resource Management, Public Management, Ecotourism and Accounting and Informatics, Cost and Management Accounting, Financial Accounting and Business Information System. For supporting service departments at Riverside Campus, we have Finance Department, Financial Aid, Administration, Students' Library, Clinic, Students' Counseling, Student Governance, and SRC Office. We have an array of support departments, services, and staff members who are well-trained and equipped to support you throughout your academic journey, ranging from the Library, Financial Aid, Admissions, Student Housing and Residence Life, Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, Student Governance, Student Counseling, Entrepreneurship Desk, and Health, and many more. DUT, together achieving greatness. Day 3, understand campus life. Students, parents, guardians and our stakeholders, again welcome to day 3 of our virtual institution-wide integrated first-year student orientation. In ensuring adherence to the COVID-19 regulations, we have since opted to meet in this fashion. Worry not. All the orientation sessions will be recorded and made available to students post the orientation. Without further ado, allow me to introduce our first speaker, Mrs. Triliwe Kremanenyati, Manager, Student Housing and Residence Life, Midlands Campuses. Hi everyone, my name is Triliwe Kremanenyati. I'm the Manager for Student Housing and Residence Life. I'm based on the Midlands Campus. I'm standing here on behalf of the Department of Student Housing and Res Life. I'd like to take this opportunity and welcome all of you uh, to our beautiful and our lovely university, the Devon University of Technology. I just want to say congratulations for making your way through. We strongly believe as a department that you will have a great stay and you will learn a lot of things through our various programs that we have, fully packed, educational, informative, entertainment, sports, arts, and recreation. Everything is, is a pack. We are going to be rolling out these programs through the year uh, under the office or under the, the, the section called Res Life, where we've got a Res Life officer both in, in both campuses. Uh, we also have a senior Res Life who is in charge of our RAs that others they call house mothers and house fathers that are just spread across our residences in both uh, campuses Devon and in the Midlands. We hope that as you continue and as you learn, you will be able to also get an opportunity or a leadership opportunity to be part or um, participate in various programs through being part of the structures. One of them that I'm going to mention is Kagaza Ladies Network and Insiga Mains Network and others. So we really, really hope as a department that 
you will be able by the end of the year you must have learned a lot of things please do make sure that you keep up on our departmental website and also we do run our social media net networks uh, which is uh, student housing uh, Devon and student housing in the Midlands and also in Instagram and also we do have our uh, our email address which is housing at Devon housing Devon at dut dot ac dot za a housing pmb uh, uh, at dut dot ac dot za all i wish for you is the best of everything i thank you introducing some of the dut student housing and residence life substructures you may affiliate in any of these in your respective residences. Representative GCI Green Campus Initiative Hi guys, my name is Langanan Shange, a postgraduate student in Deben University of Technology. I'm here to brief you a little about GCI. So GCI is a worldwide recognized initiative which was established to respond to the com to the call that was made by United Nations when stating that universities should play a, a leading role in driving sustainable development. So GCI here DUT has implemented a number of initiatives aiming to address uh, water, electricity and environmental exploitation challenges. So these challenges, these strategies are implemented by, by student structures. So it also uh, uh, plays part in the joint efforts that include other universities, which they participate in the form of annual conferences that include ACO High. In these conferences, the uh, Deppen University of Technology was proclaimed as one of the greenest uh, universities in South Africa based on the efforts that were, were, were implemented by the students. In order to join this network, please contact direct the Office of Rest Life or your nearby residence advice. Thank you very much and welcome to DUT. Representative Kagaza Ladies Network. Hello, my name is Anol Tando and welcome to DUT. I'm a postgraduate student here at the Durban University of Technology. Um, today I'm going to be telling you about the Kagaza Ladies Network. Kagaza Ladies Network is a network for women that was created by the Student Housing and Residence Life Offices on all campuses at the Durban University of Technology. Kagaza Women's Network, or Ladies Network rather, is a network that assists Abanfis Fazane um, and navigates their journey through the tertiary institutions. Um, I Kalaza Ladies Network in our programs that include All Ladies Night, uh, Pillow Talk, that's where women come together whether you're identified or unidentified to speak about the challenges that are similar to each other that we face in the institution um, and even in our outside lives because when you come to varsity it's not only about your academia but also about how you live your life and the character that you build when you're in the outside world and not protected by your parents. Um, my experiences with the Kagaza Ladies Network, I would say it helped me a lot because I was able to get into spaces with people who have experience. Um, by people, I mean women who have experience in the tertiary institution and who are able to put me under their wing and guide me um, and take me further, even in my career. I find that if you're a student and you commit yourself to AMA programs that are designed by the institution, you are much more likely to become successful because um, then you will learn skills, um, formal skills that will help you navigate your way through Impilo. And most of the time, you will, you know, experience AMA, you know, things before they happen to you just by listening to other people and their stories. Um, personally, on my journey, I was fortunate enough to be um, part of house committee structures um, and also help and volunteer with the Kagaza Ladies Networks and networks such as the Green Campus Initiative. Um, it helped me a great deal because it gave me experience. I can speak to people, I can articulate, um, I am not 
shy because I understand that Uti, as much as you can be in a space, you can be in a space and share relevant information and just not, you know, be dilly dally all the time because the institution is tertiary institution is far more serious than you would ever think. And if you're used to being at in your room, you're used to just being at home and chilling with your friends, you're never going to get the the sense of, of, of seriousness, the sense of urgency that says and you need to make sure um, you're getting your life together in, in some way so that your character can be well known and people can respect you and you can give that respect back. It also helps with your academics because in tertiary life, um, um, whatever you do in your spare time will definitely affect the academia and the academic side of everything. So these programs like Kokagaza Ladies Network are there for you to, 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 to join our programs that remind you weekly, monthly that you're still in a race. Um, so Kokagaza Ladies Network um, also is so close to my heart because I made friends there. You make friends and if you're in the same space with people, you're most likely to be in that space with people who you will meet in your future again. And if you know people in that way personally and you've you felt a bit of ink, ink is your zabo by the things that they say, it's far easier for you to work with them. And you know, also, Ikala as a ladies network is not only about problems such as pregnancies and relationships, but we also teach women how to, you know, start businesses or like spark ideas that will create ama businesses or ventures that they will venture into in their lives moving forward. So I feel like it helped me a lot because I'm able to understand a committee and what a committee consists of and that we're all a team, you know, it's the 12 sides of the, of the circle. Thank you so much and welcome to DUT. Representative in Siga Men's Network. Nina Benzo Vena Manza, in Sana Senzanzi, Yan Bingalela, Amashe Kama, Wakuma. So I will be speaking on behalf of In Siga Men's Network, which is a male initiative that was formed in 2016 in response of the number of male students committing suicide in our residences. So, Instagram's network is still a growing baby, but it has made uh, so much impact in, in male students' lives. So, in Sigalena, in Tanganola, as Shaper Konumu we believe we, 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 we have that objective of molding a man of the 21st century. We, 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 we want to create a space where male students will be able to, to speak uh, um, on their issues because the truth of the matter is that Tinaji Abad Beslisa, Siai Valela, is in Donga Pagati. Scholela Lendo Yoguti in Dota, Kailanga Pagat. No mind Dota, Ifelanga Pagati. So Intiga is an initiative, Noma City is by Asama Dota, La Pesizoti Corner, Sizins Isla. Injury to the Banza. La Post Mamma wins is a gloom in Utu Kale water, Ukalenda in the Lung Lay. So in Tiga in Daula, a Sangala Conversa Lisu Kutbaz, Okala, Nay King, Abapen and Nas, Obangans and Wuti, in King Oper and Nayo and Pilueni, in King I being a solver, in King I being a team who does a Tatish Momo so Uti, I am in Biloya. So this is an initiative where we are free to speak to each other. We, 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 sharp it, we sharpen each other. So, it's very important to, 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 to take a full responsibility of your actions. So here, we build each other, we mold each other. So as in Men's Network, we welcome you to the university. I solely believe that you will enjoy your journey. The Ions Sharpens Ion welcomes you to DOT. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Bongani Yengwa, Manager, Sport Administrations. Greetings to all the first days that have joined Deppen University of Technology this year, 2021. We welcome you at the Deppen University and also welcome you at, as the Department of Sport Administration. Uh, our sport is based at the Steve Vigo campus, Fred Crook Sports Center. You come to the first floor if you want to join. 
and we also have sport coats that are based in Peter Marisberg and uh, as you will know that our campuses are in the two big cities in, in KZN. Uh, if you want to join any of our sport coats, you are welcome to come to the address that I've mentioned. We have football, we have cricket, we have rugby. Uh, those of you who are more interested in a recreational sport, uh, we have sailing, we have capoeira, and we have any other uh, recreational type of coach that you are interested in joining. Uh, we look forward to work with you, because if you choose to join the Sport Administration Department, one of its sport coach, at one stage you might represent the DUT in the national tournaments, provincial tournaments, and even regional tournaments. And ultimately, you might also be selected for some of the national teams uh, where universities participate with other universities around the world. Thank you. Allow me to introduce Dr. Serati Munukwane from the Faculty of Management Sciences, Academic Development Practitioner, Faculty of Management Sciences. Today, 2021 first year students, you are speaking to Dr. Serati Molokwani. I am the academic developer from the Faculty of Management Sciences. We are taking this opportunity to welcome you to our Deben University of Technology as first year students. And we promise that we will give you all the necessary support that you need. From KELT, we are giving student support through tutorials and the resident tutorials. We are also supporting students through first year student experiences, program last senior student experiences, and we have academic advisors and peer advisors. Basically, I'm giving you a synopsis of the support that we will be providing for you. However, the support depends on you also bringing your part. It's very important for you to make sure that you participate in all formal activities, academic activities, to make sure that you pass at the end of your year and make sure that you cooperate with your lecturers in class. The tutorials that we'll be providing is to make sure that they help you along the way. But the last advice that I can give you as a first year student, make sure that you enjoy your stay at UT. You participate in all formal and informal activities, you play sports, all those other issues that are there to build you as a complete person. Students, you are most welcome at DUT. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Dr. Rosalind Govender from the Faculty of Accounting and Informatics, Academic Development Practitioner, Accounting and Informatics. Day, dear students, and welcome to the Durban University of Technology and the Faculty of Accounting and Informatics. My name is Dr. Rosaline Govender, and I am the Academic Development Practitioner located in the Faculty of Accounting and Informatics. I would like to take this opportunity of congratulating you on making it to the Durban University of Technology. Congratulations. You have come thus far, and we wish you well on your journey to success. I would like to speak to you very, very briefly about general education. General education is a program that is offered at the Durban University of Technology, and it is a very, very unique program. So during your first year, you will be doing Cornerstone, which is an institutional module. This module is compulsory for all first year students. And during the course of your study, you will be expected to complete three other institutional wide modules. At faculty level, we have developed four modules, which I will speak about later. And these modules are equal to 36 credits of your program. The aims of general education. Firstly, it is to build a student centered educational experience. So you as the student are placed in the center of the educational experience 
and we do contextualize it within the local context. Secondly, general education aims to prepare you students for a world that is diverse and complex. And you all know that we work in a globalized work environment. So general education aims to prepare you for this globalized work environment that is always changing. Thirdly, it is to, be, to develop students who are engaged and critical citizens. At faculty level, we have developed four modules. The first one is Business Fundamentals 1, which is a compulsory general education module, and it's offered at first year level. Business Fundamentals 2 is offered at second year level. In order to complete Business Fundamentals 2, you will have to complete Business Fundamentals 1. So do ensure that you attend all your classes and submit all assignments. At third year level, you will have a choice between entrepreneurial spirit and ICT emerge innovations and emerging technologies. All general education modules at the faculty are continuous assessment. That means there is no exams, but you will be expected to complete all assessments leave you, I would like to give you some advice on how to make your journey a successful journey at the Durban University of Technology. Firstly, make your classes your top priority. You are here for a reason, and the only way that you are going to succeed is if you attend your classes. I know that online classes can be difficult for some of you, but strive to attend your classes. It is a priority. And when you attend those classes, ensure that you are giving it your 100%. Secondly, strive to better your best. Strive to achieve excellent marks in all tests, all assignments, and in your exams. And strive to complete all tasks that the lecturers allocate to you. Thirdly, try putting your phone down and concentrating on your work. I know that learning online can be difficult and it's easy to be distracted, but try putting your phone away and concentrate on your lectures and your work at hand. Fourthly, take an active approach in your classes. Whilst in your classes, engage actively with your lecturer and with your fellow students. Finally, seek help before problems emerge. So if you're having a problem, whether it's a psychological problem, a social problem, you find that you cannot study, we have academic advisors within our faculty who can assist you. We have the student counseling department who can also assist you. So please speak to your lecturer and seek help. I'd like to leave you with this quote by Todd Smith, who says, one of the most important keys to success is having the discipline to know what you should do, even when you don't feel like doing it. Thank you, students. I wish you well in your journey. Take care. We have come to the end of the first segment. We shall meet again tomorrow. There are great prizes to be won. Beware of scammers, fake Facebook and WhatsApp accounts.